I come to you in the name of the Lord. Whoever you are and wherever you may be, know that I love you and God loves you and that you are not alone, even if you feel unworthy. He has a will for you today. I pray that you hear him. It's a good time to follow Jesus. There is mercy and grace for you today. We only have a few days on this earth. Let us enjoy them. Now let's take a breath in. And a breath out. <sighs> to the word of God we go. Psalm number 18 today. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. There went, out, there went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly, yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were very dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke. O Lord, at the blast of thy breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, he took me and drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands and his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the froward thou wilt show thyself froward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee have I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God, save the Lord? Or who is a rock, save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. 
He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them. Even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid of their close places. The Lord liveth and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avengeth me, and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies, yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed forevermore. All right, amen. Amen, amen. This is encouragement along the way. Quite a long psalm today, 50 verses on Psalm 18. I'll just uh, say a few things. Uh, the beginning is a lot of thanksgiving. Verse 1 through 3, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. And that's really the, the crux of, whole, of all of Psalm 18. The Lord saving King David from all of his enemies. And what have I said in a few of these encouragements? Uh, the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if he was saving his anointed, if he was saving his people back then, fellow saint, dear one, dear Christian, he will save you just like he saved King David back in the day. Yes, he will. I, I, I like these descriptions of the Lord. Lightning and coals of fire and hail coming out of his nostrils and smoke coming out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devouring. The heavens bowing down, and, and maybe not here, but in a, other parts of the Bible, the mountains and hills were melted. Um, I encourage you to go to Job 38, I believe, where uh, the Lord speaks, and Job, a man, gets to hear and have a conversation with God the Most High, and we hear the attributes of the Lord. We hear His power. It's a very, uh, very interesting, very humbling, very amazing part of Scripture. Job 38, I believe, is what it is. It's at the very end of Job, um, where the Lord finally speaks and answers Job out of his cry. Um, that's a book to read, y'all. Um, if you haven't, I highly recommend reading the book of Job all in one sitting if you can. When I was young, a young man, maybe 17, 18, 
um, my first encounter really with Job was um, in nature. I was at a park bench and I just sat down and read the entire book from beginning to end. But uh, continuing on, just uh, uh, in verse 18, uh, I, in uh, Psalm 18, talking about the Lord and His power and how He can save and how He does save. David says, He sent from above, He took me and drew me out of many waters. Verse 25 and 26, With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the froward, thou wilt show thyself froward. <laughs> that is very true. Verse 32, It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. Verse 35, Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation at thy right hand, and thy right hand hath holden me. Remember what uh, Psalm 16 was saying about God's right hand? It's a good place to be. Verse 46, The Lord liveth and blesseth be, blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. In the last two verses, Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. I'm just stricken by how many times David says he's going to sing to the Lord. Do you sing unto the Lord? A king. King David sang unto the Lord. David said, I will become even more undignified than this in his uh, outward praises to the Lord. He was not ashamed of the Lord. I pray that you are not ashamed of him either. If I never said anything and just simply read uh, the word, that would be enough because the word is sufficient. But I pray that a couple of these words have been encouraging to you. Thank you for your word, Lord God, and uh, let's move on to today's hymn. Today's hymn is a short one, one verse, but an incredibly powerful one, nonetheless, that I have been singing to myself out loud a lot lately. And I pray this for you. It's called Spirit of the Living God. It's, ver it's uh, based off Acts 11.15, and it says, The Holy Spirit fell on, on us as on them in the beginning. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me. Mold me, fill me, use me, O Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on me. Amen to that. And I'll end with a short quote by Raymond Lindquist. It's called The Promise Fulfilled. We want us to be as full of the Holy Spirit as the sea is full of water, as the sky is full of air, as the air is full of oxygen, as the continent is full of land, and as the fire is full of flame. His purpose is to animate our spirits for the doing of God's will, to calm our souls and claim our comfort and recall God's Christ's promises. The Holy Spirit is the witness of God's presence and power for good. He is the rush of heaven's wind, the fire of divine communication, and he does not rest until he has revealed Christ as the Son of God, Redeemer of believing men, and inseparable companion of the committed soul. The Holy Spirit never fails. He is imperturbable in tribulation, indomitable in spiritual action, 
and invincible in evangel in evangelism. Sole Deo Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest, to God be the glory forever. In Jesus' holy, perfect, mighty name, by the Holy Spirit's dunamis power, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave, I pray. By the blood of Jesus, amen.